How do they are fishing fam? Today we are doing some 300 hour or three year maintenance on our 250 Mercury Pro XS, the four stroke. Uh, today we are changing out the fuel filter or the water separating fuel filter to be more exact. Uh, I'll have the part number below of what I'm using, but make sure that you use the correct part number for your outboard. They always change these or upgrade these from time to time. So you wanna make sure you're using the right one. So mine is right here. I'll give you guys an up close look here uh, before I get started. Uh, ultimately, it's super easy. You have two hoses that connect to it and then you have one plug uh, to sense if there's water. Um, super easy install, but we're gonna go over it today anyways. All right, to give you guys a better view here, there is a fuel hose back here. There's a fuel hose right here. And then right down here, there's a plug that I got, got to undo to pull this guy out. And then it should come up fairly easily. I don't know how it's in there. I'd have to look a little closer, but I'll figure it out along the way. Oh, it's as simple as a push button. Okay, well, let's do that then. You push the little red button in and then you should be able to pull it off. I said should, probably easier in theory than practice. So push the little red button and there we go, disconnect it. Also over here, I don't know how well you guys can see, but there's a little connector that connects the, uh, or holds the hose against the valve cover here. So uh, you have to undo that to really get enough room. I know it's probably difficult for y'all to see, so I apologize. I'm gonna. Maybe I'll look right there. Oh, that's why it's not coming out. Okay. You got to rotate it. Rotate it, and then it pulls out. There we go. Now I should have a little more room to work with. So to get the filter out of the housing, you have to rotate it uh, clockwise. Looking from the top clockwise, you rotate it, uh, and then the housing comes free. Get that back into focus, and let's see if we can get this guy done now. All right, so we got that one undone, and this guy should come on out just like so. Oh, a little fuel got on me. Smells like gas, which is a good thing. So now we have the brand new one here. Uh, I think first I am going to put the most difficult piece on and I think that's going to be this clip and just simply clicks on here on this one I think y'all you know, didn't get a good view of that last time so we got a good click there next we're going to kind of put it in its spot and there's a little cup down there Let's, maybe I can get a better expl explanation with it up here there's a little cup down there that this socket sits into and it rotates un into it and then there's this little hook that holds down the fuel filter. So it just goes in and then you twist and it hooks it. It's pretty simple. So this way, this time we're going to be going counterclockwise with it. Once I get it installed, push it in there. Now we're in counterclockwise and it should be locked in there pretty tightly yep now I've got to get the the back hose on which maybe I should have done that before locking it in I don't know mm. let's try doing that before trying to do this in camera is pretty impossible now it's threaded in it's not clicked in but it's threaded not quite clicked into place so the uh, red piece needs to go over uh, this little edge here. So in here, I can still see that it's not over, so we're not all the way on. There we go. Heard a little click, and I can visually check and make sure that it's all the way on. Now we're going to lock her into place like I did earlier. All right, so we have it all clicked in here. or We have it firmly attached down there. Now we're going to connect our last hose goes right there push it on through and then everything is connected and back where it goes 
Uh, honestly, this didn't take very long. Uh, it took longer for me because I'm trying to record it all. And we're all back installed. All right, so here I have the old one. I'm gonna give you guys a better look at the fuel filter itself. Maybe give a little better explanation of some of the pieces in case you didn't get a good view. Um, so this side uh, was going as the outlet side and was going into the engine where you could barely see. This is the inlet side, the first one I took off. And then we have the plug here. Uh, so I took the electrical plug off uh, you squeeze the little red grommets that click over uh, these ridges here and then the hose comes off and do the same thing here and then on the bottom I'm going to try to do this without spilling gas everywhere because it still has gas in it on the bottom there's this little ridge that it the filter has to click into and it just sits in a little socket just like that uh, you can probably connect your socket first and then connect everything, but this one was kind of hard to do in camera, the one going back away from the camera. It was a little more difficult to, to deal with, so made that connection first before putting it in the socket, and that seemed to help. Overall, real easy process. Didn't take me, honestly, but five minutes. So before you start the outboard again, you're gonna want to turn the key to the on position. Uh, not all the way to start, to on and hold it there for five, six seconds. You'll be able to hear the fuel pump turn on, pump for a few seconds, and then it'll turn off. I'm going to do this probably three times before attempting to start the engine. Uh, and then once I start it, I'm going to be checking here for leaks and make sure everything's good. Uh, I highly recommend doing all of this at home uh, before going to the lake. That way you can check and make sure you have no loose connections and no fuel leaks uh, out here on your outboard. Uh, overall, easy process. Hopefully you guys learned a few things from this. Uh, just doing some three year maintenance. Hopefully uh, I had a restriction in there that will you know, get me a few miles per hour more. I don't know, we'll see. If you're interested in more outboard maintenance type videos, make sure you check out my playlist here. I'll have some more specific ones to the Pro XS coming up. Make sure you check those out. But until next time, see you later, fishing fam.